Hey everybody, and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Gary on the left and Sammy on the right. We're in round four of the group phase in the XTC, the X-Wing Team Championship. Ireland versus Finland here. Foresight Inquisitors versus Django and Sam. Now let's take a look. I don't want to make this all about me. But I choose to believe that these hex patterns in the cockpits are for Hexile Gaming. I choose to believe that. And I am honored. Now, Sammy's flown a lot of Foresight Inquisitors, especially in hyperspace events, so he's got to have played a ton of Django and Zam. I don't know how comfortable he is in that matchup, if he feels that is a good matchup for him, but I do know he's probably done it a lot. <laughs> You're right. We do have the Black Omega Squadron. Brendan, Apostasis. These are your ships. Now, remind me again, these are Star Furies from Babylon 5, correct? Very cool custom models here for the Inquisitors. Ah, there's... He's got custom Zam conditions. <laughs> yes, Star Furious. Thank you. So Zam, Django, moving down the left side of the board. Starry f star. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it. Inquisitors on the right side. Do you turn in? Do you keep delaying? Who is it worse for to go through the obstacles? You don't need to fly in formation with the uh, with the V1s. If you can funnel the fire sprays into the middle, you'll have an easier time lining up the bullseyes. Two straights. Barrel roll from white. I'm going to try and bunch everybody up in the uh, top. Oh, they're making sure they didn't go off the board. Oh, man, that is incredibly close. Too straight. Yeah, they're not doing anything too crazy. I'm gonna circle the bowl. At least they've banked those bases.
great imagery with these obstacles. What? You don't love this? This swamp in the middle? Yep. Not moving fast. Two straights. Sammy in no hurry. Gonna roll with blue. No big deal. There's the one bank from Zam. They're, they're, they're threatening like they want to shoot. Is this where you would want to come in? You're not overly committed. I mean, you could still want bank next turn. That's easy. Maybe that's the point, though. Maybe he acts like he's going to come into the middle. Sammy might start turning the ships, and then you run away again. Part of me wants to start splitting up these Inquisitors, but if you do leave somebody out alone, then maybe... You're just feeding the fire sprays 1v1s. Three bank. And a roll. Okay. goes mid so it doesn't go off the board. Smart. So is bringing Zam into the middle. Okay. All right. Still could bank to the right next turn, like a three bank right, and come out of the obstacles just fine. Or could turn left. Thinking about a boost left. Ooh, okay. All right. And actually has a hard turn to the right next turn. If Zam wants it. Django. Not quite as interested in coming into the middle. Okay, boost in as well. All right. I'm not worried. <sighs> Brendan, that sounds lovely. I'll have to join you tomorrow. Happy hour tomorrow. And let me double check, but we do have... I think we're ending the stream maybe tomorrow with Will Hagwood versus David. I think that'll be our first... U.S., maybe our first Spain stream as well. Zam, no valid target, so back to dials. I missed that part. Zam, bail to the right. I mean, that's what I would think. Is 
is your two hard you don't have a three on a fire spray so is your would you have to bank or does your two hard clear that gas cloud Yeah, one hard boost from from blue and pink, from teal and pink or whatever. Let's game that out. Something like that. And then your bullseye. Look, it's it's not a straight line. <laughs> that may actually hit Zam if she tries to run. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. Hey! It's almost exact. Oh, he, he rolls, though. Instead of boosts. Okay. All right. Yeah, nice little kill box there. It's the hard one in. Yeah, that's a, that's a scary looking formation up there. Zam, how do you even... How, There's the one forward. In at least one... Here's a foresight. Through a gas cloud. One hit. Gas cloud for two. Oh, it doesn't matter. There's only one. Foresight. This is going to be a 2v2. Uh, you better mean business. Yeah. So this could result in a in some return fire. Two natties from the foresight. Zam. Two saddies. Oh boy. Bruh. Wow. Oh my god. Zam takes two. Here's the return shot. Better mean business. 3v3, range two. Yeah, this is probably the Everything else is at range three. Crit, crit. Not bad. Oh, Sadie's in return! Teal takes two. Oh. I like that. No foresight there from purple. Did pink already check? Has Am performed an action? Looking at a focus. There is force point. Oh, Zam's got pow. You defend if the attacker's at range 0 to 2. You may spend one force point. If you do, the attacker gains one stress token. You could end up double stressing blue. If you don't use the force on the attack and defense. Oh, Chango wants a piece as well. Boosts forward.
spins the Dooku Force for three hits. Focus for two evades, takes one on blue. First damage card dealt. Zam. Gonna try her luck. This time with a focus. Oh, the natties! You could initiative kill this ship right now. If there is a blank on these dice, Blue's dead. Oh boy. Oh boy. To the bottom of the overlay with you, Teal Inquisitor. R.I.P. Rest in pepperonis. Got a range three unobstructed. Let's see that comeback. Double crits. Now there's shields on Zam. Still a focus, still a force point. Spins the focus. Takes nothing. Still has a force point left. No range two for possible Palpatines, I think. Ooh! Two natty hits. Man! Shields down on Zam. At least the blank outs are happening to both players. Two natural hits! Zam blanks out again! What's happening? What is happening here? <laughs> oh, man. There's half points on Zam. Sammy now leading by nine. <laughs> Are these guys using weighted dice? Uh, I mean, it, it would be weighted in the wrong direction, right? You don't get weighted dice that give you blanks all the time. What did you- don't blame me. Don't put that juju on me. This is not some advertisement for gravity dice. Hey, want your dice to roll average most of the time? Use perfectly weighted metal dice. Just like Scott from Hexile Gaming. Boy. Every time I pick this thing up, I am sure I'm gonna drop it. Should not mention dice rolls anymore. His power's too great. All right. Anytime somebody rolls dice, I'll look away. I'll come back when it's all over. So, 49 to 40. Very close points-wise. Sammy loses a ship, but gets half on Zam. Now, unfortunately, without... Now that you lack that ship for Sammy, you're getting less opportunities to strip the myriad of mods that Zam has. Eh. They're more on Django, actually. Dooku and Lone Wolf. Now, Dooku can help out Zam, for sure. Can those dice still be gotten? I think so. I thought Gravity Dice was going out of business, but I think they're still around. They're just stupid expensive. I think I got them on some kind of Christmas set. I think my wife bought me one set, and then I bought another. The company bought me another. All right. You can do whatever you want if you're running the tournament. Exactly. Be the change you want to see. 
throw Zam into the scrum and have the bonus attack set to cause as much damage as possible. The problem is Zam is out of charges, and you cannot get charges back and have a bonus attack in the same turn. So if you throw Zam in now, she could die before the bonus attack happens. Yep, going in for blocks. Hopefully the turn away from Zam, although, you know, bumping one and shooting the others, maybe not the worst thing that could happen. Zam. On the debris. Oh, he's going to Dooku it. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay. I would have rolled it just to see. Oh, well. Here's a hit crit from the... Uh... Oh! Oh! Natty's for both. Hey, there's the evades. Anything go through on Zam? No. Here's a foresight into Django. Double natural evades there. Ooh. One hit. Django. Two dice. One evade. So that's actually the purple force point is gone now because of that foresight trigger. So that ship actually has no attack mods. Did anybody else evade? Gray did. There's a boost from Django. He's ready to get out of there. I feel like you've just made everybody's mind up for them. They want to shoot Zam. Oh, Django's got to shoot first. Range two into pink. Then you can take a range one with Zam. I have a little focus fire. Oh, Zam's got a lock on blue, though. Yeah, shoot pink. One crit, one evade. Zam out the front into blue. With a target lock, four dice. Has a force point. Are you going to sp yeah, spin the whole lock? Keep, try and keep the force point. Spins it. All aggro. Oh no! Again! Blinded pilot on blue. Yikes. Now blue does not have a force point. Oh. This is rough. Two hits. Jesus! What's happening? Look, we, we've had some natty evades. It just feels like there's not been, <laughs> like, there's no trail mix here. There's no focuses and evades and blanks. It's it's all or nothing. Here's two more damage into Zam, down to three hull. There's a single hit. There we go. Look, some mixed results there on the greens. We have to We have to cherish them and appreciate them or they'll turn away. They'll go to another game. Here's a range one shot. Uh, no mods for that one. Two hits. 
One of eight takes one on Zam. On two hall. Let's see. Can Pink finish off Zam? There's no Dooku. There's no Palpatine. No Lone Wolf. 3v2 with a focus. Oh, man. You need two natural evades here, and you don't get it. That is the end of Zam Wessel. Whew! Wow. Okay, let's um, let's regroup here. Blue survived with a blinded. You got a 4v1. Gotta feel pretty good if you are Sammy, but it ain't over yet. 60 to 98, 38 point lead for Sammy. Each of these Inquisitors is 40 points, so kill one and you're back in it. Or have to, that's how math works. Yeah, I mean, how, how much pressure do you want to put on Django now? You Well, you definitely disengage, right? Because he's going to drop bombs. Thermal detonators for sure. Lone Wolf is always active now. Good point. There's the thermals. Pink boosts away. All right. No linked action either for pink. Will that make it susceptible to the wiles of Django Fett? Gonna fix blinded on blue. Nice. Goes for the one bank. Does that. Uh, let's remind ourselves Django's ability. While you defend or perform a primary attack, the difficulty of your revealed maneuver is less than that of the enemy ships. You may change one of the enemy ships' focus results to a blank. Now, pink. They all did blues. Never mind. Moot point. Every single ship on this board did a blue maneuver. Thermal. Ooh! There's a crit on pink. Does the second one hit? Checks for Dooku range. Not in range of the ship. Does not get to dictate that. Oh, there's half points! Reduces the lead to 18 for Sammy. Could see the snipe from Django Fett. He's already got a focus. And he's not taking any defense. He might as well palp for a crit. Yep. Gets to change the blank into a crit. Focus into a hit. Hit it, crit. Now we've seen some saddies here. And the saddies continue. Takes hit, crit. That is a dead pink. And just like that, Gary is back on top. Two thermal damage. Two damage from Django. 100 to 98 my god that changed so quickly wow 44 minutes left 98 to 100 two point game Run, Django. Yeah, 44 minutes. Easier said than done. And long-range engagements against Foresight, not... Not great.
Nader is fuming now. Yeah. He was uh, not happy about being close to that thermal. Need to see the dice stats at the end of this to see the first negative 20 dice luck. Yeah. Debrief. Welcome aboard, everybody. This has been a wild match. If you're just joining us, um, looked, I mean, it, the, the, the lead has swung uh, twice, I believe. I think it was Django Zam on top first. Then Inquisitors got half on Zam. Swung things in Sammy's favor. Then they took Zam out of the game. And then uh, Django here with a snipe out the back arc. Plus two damage from thermals. Takes a ship off the board. And now he is leading. Gary leading by two. This just in. I'm seeing an update. Spain leads USA 2-1. to one. Well, that means tomorrow's match, I believe it's the final match of the day, featuring Mr. Higwood. I have some big stakes. Django with a disengage. Got a 3v1. See target locks there. Or those Omegas. Let's get pink out of here. Bury him at the bottom. Just gonna check the challenge here to challenge. How are these teams doing? This is the hard turn in from Django, checking for Foresight. Doesn't quite have it. Good looking bullseye, just not quite long enough. Oh, is it two and two? Finland versus Ireland? Somebody double check that for me. Uh, here's the range three shot on Django. Hit I into two natural evades. Forty minutes left still, two points. Inquisitors have to come through the middle, making them a little more predictable. If you anticipate those bullseyes a little bit more. Do you want them to chase you? It's a little easier to avoid those bullseye arcs with them behind you than if you have to go straight towards them. Because you, you do have an opportunity to 4k here. But you probably don't want it. Wotus in the chat says it's 2-2. Two to two. Okay. Sounds like a good series. Firestorms, Nick won his game. Nick was actually asking to, to commentate this game, but thanks to Funwalk, I have to institute a no team players commentating their team's matches policy. Good on you, Nick.
Django. Three straight. Foresight. Two hits. Uh, you got a force point and an evade. Not going to help you in the engagement, though. Eh, just boost. There's the boost. And look at this, he's, he's splitting these Inquisitors up, right? Purple's going around the outside. Blue probably doesn't want to come across that cloud, so you're looking at a one hard boost. Gray wants to go straight, probably. Would you turn in here with a one hard? If you're anticipating... That's a bad one hard, but look, you get it. Something like that. Did you one hard? Well, those questions are currently being answered. the other direction. I like this. He's playing it safe. That's smart. Three bank from Django. Oh, I like that boost as well. Because it, it you still have the option of a one hard next turn or just run and keep him out the back. 36 minutes. I mean, that's a long time to run if that's your plan, but you do have options here. Is Django going to run for 45 minutes? I I don't think so. But these are good positions to be in where you're... You're threatening. I, I could one hard. I could turn in. shouldn't be any. There's no foresights. Could you fit a boost left? Might be an awkward position for the next turn. I mean, this honestly, this isn't a bad place to be. You've got the gas cloud for blue and purple. Yeah, just take the focus. No big deal. You got the range two. Uh, yeah, take the unobstructed shot into white. 3v3. Hope for some more of those saddies. You got Lone Wolf. You got a focus. Dooku if you want it. He did not Dooku this. He did Dooku this. Sorry, my bad. Does not Lone Wolf it. Alright. Shots back into Django. Number one. 2v4. Spins the focus for two.
three evades with the gas cloud. 2v3, range two. One crit. One evade. All right, 2v2. Here's your chance. Force point for two hits. Focus for two evades. All right. On to the next one. Where do you want to go with Django Fett? My first inclination, you know, the two, the, the hard left, very predictable, very blockable. If you want to be surprising, you dial in like a three bank to the right and hope that blue is behind you and maybe you bump into purple and shoot something out the back. Because you're looking at a one hard here. I don't know. I don't... Maybe a one bank. I mean, do you, are you anticipating this? I think a three bank helped too. Four straight. Can you hop this with a four straight? Well, that's not great either. One hard, ship right. Get up on that gas cloud. Shoot out the back. Force them to chase you a different direction. Go one hard right, says Atreides. I, I, I think I like that. I think I've talked myself into it. Django bank left to the yeah, yeah three bank left maybe I mean I just if I guess how would gray block that on one bank because I think if you get blocked you have no shots and are taking two I don't know that I would risk risk that Okay, I didn't expect that. I like that. One hard turn in from blue takes an evade. One bank from purple. One hard to the right, not looking so bad. Four straight. He may be in all of the arcs. It's possible. Does he want to Dooku the cloud, or do you just take the string? I think you save it. And the problem here is the... Takes the string. The cloud is in the guide, so you won't have an action next turn.
Range one on blue, unobstructed. 4v3. Mm, lone Wolf. Saving it for defense. Oh my god. Blanks out again. Blue dies! Range one obstructed. It is obstructed. Oh, but the strain. Takes one. Here's your first damage on Django. Range two. Spins a force point for one hit. Lone wolf. Takes one. That wasn't an evade, no. Chat log says no. Man. I won't say that the green dice have been consistently bad all game, but man, there's just been an inordinate amount of all blank rolls. Definitely have to check that. Expected blanks versus actual blanks on those green dice. There's the bomb. Easy thermal there, yep. Yeah. Probably a little boost from gray. Thinking about the link. Goes for it. What's purple doing? Oh boy. Looks like there was a dial issue because it Shows a one bank to the right. Oh. Django takes nothing for the cloud. He said he meant to do a 4K, so he was going to take that bomb no matter what. Spins the force point for 4, range 1. Takes 2. All right, 24 minutes left. That is hard to come back from. Uh, Simuli needs 43. Is that right? And half of Django's 49. It's, you're still a ways away from that, but doable. Is it three? Yeah.
<laughs> Half on Jango works if Netter doesn't lose the last shield on purple. Yeah, easier said than done. Maybe, okay, maybe she's gonna run with purple. Disengage. I think he was afraid of a, oh, the thermals are gone. My bad. Get them out of here. Is that range two? Sure is. Three dice out the back. Spins the focus. I would Dooku a blank in there. Maybe not. Focus. Take the crit. It is whole breach. Doesn't matter on one. All right. Not a lot of game left here. Turn. Yep, they are getting out of there. I'll try and regroup. Twenty one minutes left. You need. Three damage on Django. Woo! It's not much, and yet it is very difficult. K okay, turn there with purple. Django turns in. Okay. All right. dice really been that bad or is it um there's been a lot of blank outs there have been evades but just <laughs> three green blank outs boy and, and for both players honestly but we will uh we'll get an overall picture at the end here White thinking about rolling for a better lane. Nope. Goes up there to get a little closer to purple. One straight from Django. Are we going to check for negative there? Ooh, there's a bullseye range three. Unobstructed. 2v2. Two hits. Can we see some saddies for Django? Lone Wolf. Force point takes one. All right. There's one of the three that you need.
takes the focus. Take the range three unobstructed, right? In the purple. No, he wants to kill white. That is a debris, not a gas cloud. So that's not a free of aid, it's just extra. Dice, here's a 3v4. Dooku's for a crit, I think. Two natural evades. Gonna do foresight again, 2v2. You do not need to spend in the engagement phase. One hit. Has a focus. Spins it. Takes nothing. This one's obstructed. Again, debris, not gas. Two hits. Four dice. No mods now. Takes one. All right. Okay. Hey, we're one away from a lead switch here. 17 minutes left. Needs to keep those Inquisitors alive. Going, Django. I'm gonna turn right and try to run. Three bank left. Try to bump one, shoot the other. That's not bad. It's a debris. You could Dooku to stop the crit if you really cared. left. Getting close to the end. Django setting and resetting that dial. Spreads out a little bit. Does do a three bank left. Dooku's for a blank. Gonna shoot range one into purple. 4v3. Does not have a force point anymore. anymore. Lone wolf hit it crit. Oh boy. Purple spends the force point and the evade token. Takes one on the shield. Oh no. Does purple have a shot back? Nope. 
Yeah, that was a great move. And not just because I said it. But when you're in this position with passive mods and you can bump into one ship, deny it from shooting, and shoot the other, and in this position it just doesn't get to shoot anything, it's pretty strong. Probably looking at a Talon with purple, one hard with white. Oh, Talon's there, okay. 4K's onto the debris. Oh, does he want to duke the crit? He does- Oh, it's a crit anyway! Oh no! It is a damaged engine on purple. There's the one bank left. Shot out the back. Obstructed range three. I'm not gonna lone wolf that. One hit. One evade. Oh, come on. Pull off the miracle here. Range three. It's a debris, not a gas cloud. No free evades here. One hit. I think there's a lock on there. That's two natural evades anyway. Well, white is stressed. Purple is double stressed. No stress on Django, so he's free to just bank left. Yeah, there's the one bank. Have we seen Django's ability trigger yet? Boost out of there. Lone Wolf and Force Point, range two. 3v3. This ship's on one hull. Lone Wolf the blank. Scott, are you happy that you took this game? I suggested yes. It's been a very good one. That's a dead ship. Purple. <laughs> JW, when two lists that everyone grumbles about fight, I don't know how to feel when one wins. I, it's just nice to see a back and forth, right? I agree. It can be hard to be excited by certain things that you see a lot. But this one's been a good one. Nine and a half left. Purple Inquisitor has a a big task. Taking those last six hit points off of Django. That is what it's gonna take now. Foresight? Nope.
all right? Do you turn in with Django here? Ooh, trying to get into a position that's hard to hit. There's the one hard. Foresight. This could be the first two damage into Django. Can he get some saddies? Yes, he can. Lone Wolf. Takes one. Well, there's your half points. Here's the shot from Django. Blank, blank focus. Not going to spend it. Two dice from the Inquisitor. Two hits. Spins the force point. Takes one. All right. Django on four. It's, it's doable. Seven minutes left. Wow. 33 point game. Six minutes left. Four hit points on Django. One hull left on the Inquisitor. But this shot, though, this shot. There's the target lock. Range one. 4v3. If you can get all four results, the game is over. Not looking great so far. Target lock's the whole thing. You got an evade and a force point. Hey, spin the evade. The game goes on. Now, unfortunately, they're heading in opposite directions. There's five minutes left. You can four straight Django. You can three straight boost. Gonna have to turn around with the Inquisitor. Thermals are gone, so that's something you don't have to worry about. Four straight onto the gas cloud, so he can't boost away. Go back to dials. No strain. Unfortunately, you're facing that gas cloud with the Inquisitor, so you can't just three straight. Does it anyway. Five straight. Knows he needs to shoot. Duke, who's that for a strain? Okay. Here's the Inquisitor shot, unobstructed. Django's on four. Hit crit! There's the natties! He already spent the force point, takes the crit. Uh, gonna lone wolf the, sorry. Yep, he does have that. Okay, now he doesn't have anything on defense. He's gonna take another. It's not obstructed. Oh, it is obstructed, sorry, my bad, my bad. My bad. I thought I saw a blue line on the outside. It says in the log, clearly it's obstructed. Oh, that was so close. So close to greatness. All right. Three and a half minutes left. At the pace of this game, probably two rounds left. Do you boost left to get out from behind this debris? No, I'm just going to take a focus. Oh, if 
Django one hard Zen. Oh, yep, yeah, that's it. That is it. Oh no, Dooku's the crit. And that is the game. GG! Congratulations to Gary. What a match. Now, you know what? We talked about it. Let's, let's look at the dice results here. The greens for Sammy evades 11 out of an expected 19. Uh, eyeballs 11 out of an expected 12. Blanks 29 out of an expected 19. Negative 9 overall for the greens. That's pretty bad. But the blanks, 29 for an expected 19. 10 more than you expect to get. That's that's the real tale there. On the other side, negative 5 on the greens for Gary. A negative 9 to a negative 1. So Sammy's attacks were actually pretty good. Now, a lot of those were two dice attacks. But, uh, yeah, the greens, they felt bad, and it turns out they were kind of bad. But also for both players. All right. Congratulations again, Team Ireland. Uh, thank you. Great game, Finland. And I think this is a three and two, right? So nothing decided in this series yet. That'll do it for that match. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexiled Gaming, signing off.